small welcome in another important video in our electron js course i hope you all are doing great in this video we will learn about garbage collection in a node js so from our previous video we have started looking into performance improvement of our application as we saw in our previous video performance improvement is continuous efforts towards knowing how our code is behaving in different situations so now in order to understand how our code is occupying memory how our code is using cpu power we should use some strategies that is suggested by node.js or chromium garbage collection is another way to understand how our code is occupying the memory all right so let's understand how garbage collection works so while writing code sometimes we write some unnecessary code sometimes we write unnecessary variables in our code so in that case that variables remains there as long as our program is running which is not good because whenever we create any function whenever we create any class it also occupies some memory in code so when that variable is not in use it is occupying memory unnecessarily so garbage collection takes care of the entire situation where garbage collections first step will be to collect those variables those objects which is not in use and garbage collection has one method to clear the entire collected data so with this way the variables that is of no use gets deallocated from the memory all right so let's see how this entire operation works so here they have given a really nice example here they have given one root you can consider this is your variable or let's consider this is object and this is another object let's say object 2 and let's give it a name object 3 object 2 and object 3 is dependent on this root object in simple words we can say that this root variable is necessary in our program so that we don't need to clear the memory that is allocated to this particular root but what about these two these two objects is not in use so there is no harm to clear the memory that is allocated to these two objects this is exactly how node js garbage collections differentiate those variables which is not in use and which is in use it basically checks is that variable is in use somewhere or not so if it is not in use it collects that inside garbage collection after completing certain cycle it clears those variables from the memory so the question might have arise in your mind like garbage collection works by default so why do we need to understand this concept because we don't need to provide any inputs to garbage collection it does its own work so what are those things that as a programmer we need to consider for garbage collection so even though garbage collection works by default in node js still there are few things that we can do to help garbage collection to collect unnecessary data unnecessary variables from our memory let me give you one example so here i have created one simple garbage collection.js file and this is going to be simple js file so as we know that there are three different ways through which we can declare variable in node js one is using var another one is using let and then another one is using const so most of us thinks that these all do the same thing that's not correct let me show you how so let me declare one variable with name var let's allocate some memory to this and let's use var2 declare variable 3 using const all right so now we have three different variables declared in three different ways so now whenever we write any function let's say function demo so in that case so inside of it we can write variables as well so let's say if i declare one variable using var demo is equal to whatever the value that you want it to allocate so as soon as i call this function this particular variable will get allocate some memory okay but the problem here is we have declared this demo to variable using var keyword and if you have uh, if you have a little bit of idea about different scopes of variables in a node js so you might know that var keyword occupies a global scope so even though we have 
declared the variable inside this particular function it has a global scope so even though this particular function performs entire operation still this particular variable will not be applicable to garbage collection in short we can say that uh, even after this function performs entire operations this variable memory will not get deallocated by garbage collection because this variable is declared in global scope okay just because of global scope the variable will not get de deallocated so instead of that if i write let and declare this variable so in that case after performing entire operations by this program this variable will be eligible for garbage collection and now garbage collector will collect this variable and deallocate the memory later on so now this is the best example of good practices in the code so whenever you are writing any code you have to be careful about writing it you always need to think about how to write optimized code and which are all best practices suggested by the respective technology so if i summarize entire topic of garbage collection so garbage collection is something that we don't need to initialize we don't need to think about how it is working and when it will clear the memory it's just that we have to write code in such a way that a garbage collection will collect the necessary variables and necessary functions and clear it later on so all in all we can say that using best practices which will always help us to improve performance of our application and it will also help us improving the memory of our application so this is how garbage collection in a node js works but what if you want to call garbage collection method manually so in that case you can see this example so here they have given a really good example so garbage collection is a method with name gc and this is appended to global object if you want to clear garbage collected data manually so in that case you have to call this method so you can use this simple method let's copy this and if i paste it somewhere here i don't want to exit this process so i'm going to comment this out and rest of all is fine and rest of the things is good all right so let me go inside our try function and if i use garbage collection okay so if i run this program see it works without error okay so with this way you can clear garbage collection you can even write set interval but which is not recommended way let node js handle the garbage collection just follow the instructions given by node js to optimize memory so this is how garbage collection works in node js i hope you have understood the entire concept of garbage collection which is really simple well that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye